Hey, and welcome back to another video from my Vintage Tech Showcase playlist, the playlist of videos where I showcase older electronic devices in a form of retro style review. And what I have for you here today is the Nokia 7370 from 2005. Uh, this particular variant of the 7370 is actually the 7373. Uh, so it's not the original variant. Uh, the 7373 is a slightly improved variant with a two megapixel camera as opposed to the 1.3 megapixel which was on the 7370 and uh, <clears throat> the original 7370 also did not support uh, micro SD expansion but the 7373 uh, actually supports micro SD expansion up to 2 gigabytes so the difference is just the 2 megapixel camera versus the 1.3 megapixel camera and the uh, base 7370 did not have a micro SD expansion slot, uh, but the 7373, this particular one, has a uh, micro SD expansion slot up to two gigabytes. The uh, 7370 was released in October of 2005, and the 7373 was released in September of 2006. Now, as you can see here, this is the black model. They call this uh, a particular name, and that name is uh, Bronze Black. They call it bronze black it was also available in powder pink now the the bronze black version is very sleek and stuff but my one as you can see here has uh, had a rough life it's been scratched up a lot and stuff uh, the powder pink one is really gorgeous uh, here's a photo of it and um, here's the colors for the 7370 they were a bit different so warm amber and coffee brown so the coffee brown and the warm amber uh they are the actual more nicer colors to the uh, 7370 and the 7373 um but this is the sleeker black one but uh, like i said it's had better days it's been scratched up a lot so uh, the 7370 came in coffee brown and warm amber and the 7373 came in bronze black and powder pink uh so uh, this is i i wish i had the pink one the pink one or the uh, other the 7370s uh um coffee brown or something because they're in much nicer colors they're flashy and they they look more how should i say premium and they're more in in line with the nokia uh, 7380 the the phone that i featured in this video over here i'll bring it on camera in a bit i've already done a video on it if you want to check it out the 7380 those phones the 7280 the 7380 the 7370 uh, these phones were the luxury uh, lineup of phones sort of they had leather components and stuff and uh, metal components as well this phone's thing is the swivel design. You may have noticed already. It swivels like this 180 degrees. Uh, you can do that and it locks the phone. And when you unswivel it, it unlocks the phone as well. Uh, this is its back cover. So I've taken the back cover off because uh, I don't have the proper battery for it. Uh, but this phone's battery, the Nokia... Uh, why do I keep forgetting? The Nokia C301. The Nokia C301's battery uh, is what's here. Um, I'm using it because the uh, I don't this thing when I bought it it didn't come with the original battery I got this phone from uh, Russia for about uh, I forgot 18 bucks or something I'll put it on screen this is the original list listing it came from the Russian Federation a few uh, weeks ago but I couldn't do a proper video on it because I was busy but um, we're going to visit this phone now and we're going to see what it's like. We're going to do the full retro style review with the uh, camera samples and you know the drill. You know how it is. You've seen my Vintage Tech Showcase playlist. And if you haven't, I'll link it down in the description below. Uh, there's a lot of good phones that I've reviewed over the, uh, over the past few years. So now let's jump right into this video. But as usual, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on Instagram, Discord and Twitter and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below. And now let's jump right into this video starting off with the design and build quality and then display and everything else. Uh, let's go from there. So let's firstly have a quick go around of the phone. Uh, now as you can see here it is like I said the swivel design. Uh, the swivel on this thing feels really good by the way. It feels really solid. Let me bring it closer. Let me close it. Let me, un well, let me open it again as well, as you can, I think you can hear that, it feels really solid. 
So really solid uh, swivel mechanism. Uh, overall, it's built of plastic mainly, but it feels really premium in the hand. Uh, even though I'm wearing gloves, I can still feel it. Uh, this one, like I said, is a bit scratched up and damaged, so it's not the ideal example of this, but it does feel really premium in the hand. That's a solid swivel mechanism, as with all Nokia swivel phones, the 5700 as well, uh, really solid swivel mechanism, um, feels great in the hand. Uh, at the back here, we have this uh, metal plate over here as well. We have the camera and stuff like that. So let's have a closer look at the phone. Let me bring it closer here. So uh, up front, we have the uh, speaker grill over here. We have the Nokia branding over here. We have the display, which we'll talk about in a bit. The top half of the phone kind of looks like a bullet. If you close that, this half kind of looks like a bullet there. Uh, the bottom of the phone, the keypad, the uh, keys feel really great. They're solid keys, uh, great Nokia keys, but this one has, like I said, had better days and some keys are a bit, you know, messed up, but that is how it is. Uh, this, uh, this is the navigation thing as well. On this side, we have the power button over here. This tiny thing is the power button and this is the camera shutter button. It's, uh, you can also press it to launch the camera. As you can see there, uh, it is not double click or anything. The moment you press it, it does take a photo. So it's not like half press to focus and stuff like that because this is a fixed focus camera. It is not uh, not an uh, autofocus camera. So as you saw there, uh, it took a photo there. Um, and on this side, let me close the camera. On this side, we have the volume rocker, volume down and volume up. Uh, at the bottom, we have the uh, small style barrel charger. So the smaller barrel charger like that. And we have the Nokia pop port or POP port. Uh, that's the multi accessory port over there. Uh, as you can see the uh, POP port, this port was used mainly for headphones and other sorts of connectivity. Um, so this thing has no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, obviously. So it has that port. Uh, eventually they started putting uh, headphone jacks in these things because this port uh, was proprietary. And if you broke something, you couldn't really do use anything else, but you had to use the Nokia uh, accessories. So yeah, uh, moving on to the back of the phone, as you can see, it has this metal design at the back. Uh, there's a better design on the uh, other colors. Uh, but this one meant to be the most sleeker color has this design. We have the camera over here, the two megapixel camera, and this is the back cover. It goes on like that, but the battery's in the way, as you can see there. Uh, Nokia branding, two megapixel there, and this is actual leather. This is real leather. I'm not sure if this is sheep or some sort of lizard, but uh, it looks like a lizard. I don't know, It's but it's real leather. This was a premium phone. Uh, so it is what it is. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick go around of the phone. Like I said, it feels great in the hand, feels really solid. Overall, a very solidly built phone. This was a premium phone at the time. So you could expect uh, it to be, you should expect actually it to be built really well. So now it's time to talk about the display on this thing and let's bring it closer. Now, the display on this thing right off, I can say is amazing. Uh, it had to be amazing because it was a premium phone. So if you're charging a premium, you got to have a good display. It's a TFT panel. Of course, at the time they used TFT panels widely, but it has 256,000 colors. You cannot uh, charge a premium and then only give uh, 65,000 colors. Uh, but this has 256,000 colors, which is the uh, recommended amount of colors for the human eye sure it doesn't have the 16 million colors uh the more detailed one but all the requ the required colors are under the 256,000 limit uh so let's look at some photos that i took on this phone now the camera on this thing isn't great even though it was the upgraded two megapixel version this was not an n series the n series was the one uh that had the best cameras but as you can see uh the, ca the photos are okay they do a decent job um so let's go to this photo, as you can see, all the colors are displayed really nicely. Uh, I'll put these photos in the camera section, so uh, stay tuned for that. Our camera section is coming up. Um, but as you can see, the colors are pretty decent. It took that took a nice photo there as well. Um, and uh, let me load up some of the uh, the graphics this phone has. Let's go back, back. Um, this should have some graphics. There we go. Wallpapers. This is a really nice photo. So as you can see. Mm. options beautiful screen uh really vibrant 256,000 colors uh on this display the colors are really vibrant the display is really nice um again you got to put yourself uh in the shoes of a person using this in 2005 or 2006 because the 7370 and the 7373 have the same display so it doesn't really matter but you got to put yourself in the shoes of a user from the time and uh the colors on this thing are really really nice the screen is also very bright the outdoor performance is amazing and uh it's a very very nice 
screen. So for technical details on the screen, it is a two inch display. So two inches diagonally like that. And it has a resolution of 240 by 320 pixels. So uh, 240 by 320 or 320 by 240 like that, uh, which gives it a pixel density of about 200 pixels per inch. And it has a four by three aspect ratio. Um, and uh, overall, like I said, it's pretty nice display. It uh, displays all the colors it needs and it's uh, probably one of the better displays Nokia had back in 2005 and 2006. It had to. Maybe not as good as the N-series displays, but uh, probably close, probably. Close. I really don't have a phone to compare here, but uh, a very, very good display. Nevertheless, the colors are sharp, they're bright, they're vibrant, the outdoor performance is amazing, it's bright, and it's a very, very good display, very suitable for a premium phone at the time. All right, so now let's discuss the internal specifications of this phone. And like I said, <clears throat> this was slightly an upgrade in terms of storage from the 7370. The 7373 had the uh, 2GB uh, SD expansion option. I've put a 128 MB SD card in there. Um, so uh, I needed it for the uh, photo samples and stuff like that. So uh, the ca card slot, like I said, is only available on the 7373, not the 7370. Uh, for phone books, uh, it has 1,000 entries and 23 fields. So uh, you, have, you can put 1,000 uh, entries in the phone book. Uh, it also has photo call. So uh, that's there. You can uh, have a photo on a call. So there's photo call. Uh, the history on this thing is 20 dialed, 20 received, and 20 missed calls. Uh, and another slight detail the 7373 and the 7370 have in difference uh, the 7373 this one has 8 megabytes of internal storage while the 7370 has 10 megabytes so just 2 megabytes more in terms of internal storage but uh, since the 7373 can have a 2 gigabyte ssd card uh, 2 gigabyte micro sd card um, that makes a huge difference and the 8 megabytes internal uh, doesn't make uh, much of a difference there because uh, you can put a SD card in this but the 7370 because it didn't have an SD card expansion uh, that 10 megabytes is all you have so that was quite a bummer charging a premium f f for this phone and uh, then not having micro SD expansion uh, when you need it because uh, this thing has really good stereo speakers so you're going to want to put a lot of music on this thing so the 10 megabytes was really, really limiting. So I'm pretty sure uh, that's why the 7373 came out with the two gig SD card option. Um, but like I said, 7373 has eight megabytes. The 7370 has 10 megabytes uh, of internal as well. Um, and uh, that's basically it for internal specifications. So now external specifications, the hinge we spoke about, it's 180 degrees, as you can see here, it's like that, 180, like that. And it also locks the phone uh, like that, as you can see, it locked the phone and you can also unlock it as well. Uh, so it's pretty nice. And uh, it has that uh, animation. Why didn't they saw the music play? Sometimes there's a close animation. Oh, this theme has a different animation. Okay, it doesn't have the sound. It has that, oh yeah, this theme, I changed the theme as you saw from the uh, orange uh, to the uh, blue there and the, this theme has a different animation if you change it to orange it has the uh, that sound let me go back and uh, change it to orange uh, open gallery images let's go to memory no let's go to themes uh, apply so that's the orange theme and the orange theme has a different uh, animation as you can see let's do that again let's close the phone there you go so the sound comes on the orange theme only there you go you can also install themes uh using the old methods uh using nokia's ov suite and stuff like that uh but i'm not going to do that here but you can install themes as well so I want to quickly point out something really genius about the design of the swivel mechanism on the 7370 and the 7373. Uh, when you're holding the phone like this, now this thing opens on both sides. If you're a right hand user, you can switch it like that. And uh, if you're a left hand user, you can flip it like that as well. Flip it or switch it or slide it or swivel, whatever you want to call it. So it, it's for both hand users. But if you slide it or swivel it towards the right, you cannot close it again towards the left. You can only close it again towards the right. And if you swivel it towards the left, you can only swivel it back towards the left. You cannot swivel it back 
to the right. You can only bring it on the same area or the same side you brought it up from and you can only close it in that, in that direction as well. So that is because if you had a full 360 motion, the wire on the inside will twist around itself and rip off eventually. So uh, that's a uh, mechanism to uh, prevent that from happening. So whichever direction you opened it is the direction you can close it only. So I'm pretty sure on the inside, there's a ring like thing with two points like that. And when you swivel it, it only allows motion back in the same direction than uh, when it, that for when it came from. So a really ingenious design to, pre uh, to uh, prevent the uh, ribbon from ripping, the ribbon or the set of wires on the inside. So very ingenious engineering there by Nokia. So that was the basic specs and hardware on this phone. Uh, the main selling point of this phone was its swivel design. As you can see when you close it, it's a very compact phone, but it's a bit towards the thick side, as you can see there. Ignore the battery, look at this side. It's quite thick, let me bring it closer. But uh, no one really cared at the time. Phones were really thick and there were much thicker phones than this as well. So now let's go on to the software. So the OS on this thing is the Nokia OS. Uh, it's based somewhat on the uh, Symbian and the Series 40, but it's not exactly Series 40. It looks like Series 40, but it's not Series 40. Uh, it's just called the Nokia OS. So let's do star hash 0000 hash. That, show, that basically shows you the version of the OS and uh, basically the RM number, so RM209, that's the software version, 2006 version, 0 .3 no, 0.3.90, so version 3.90, uh, that is the version. So if you wanna know the code, a lot of people have asked me in the comment section, how do you get that information? Star hash 000 hash. That's how you do it. It works on most Nokia phones. So this is the OS. Uh, you can put a wallpaper here as well. And like I showed you earlier, there are a bunch of themes. So your messaging, contacts, log, settings, gallery, media, apps. Um, there's a bunch of pre-installed games. We have Sudoku there. Um, I don't really know how to play this game, I think. So the previous owner has been playing. Uh, I think it's a puzzle game. Yeah, it's that puzzle game. You know how to play it. I don't. Uh, you can load uh, other games onto this thing, obviously. Kind of wish there were some more games so I could demo them. And that's it. that memory card does not have games as far as I can tell. Does it? Oh, yeah, it does. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Where did I get that memory? Uh, I think that memory card was on another Nokia phone. I think. Yeah. Because this phone's own memory does not have games. So this has, the memory card has Snake 3. So that's nice. Uh, we can play Snake. I almost thought we'd not have a game demo there, but because I saw, I could have sworn uh, that memory card, where did it come from? Uh, I don't know. But anyway, Snake 3, uh, classic custom adventure one player. Um, let's go. So this is the, uh, ver the 3 version of Snake, the 3D thing. Uh, ah, this button doesn't really work. Okay, there we go. Come on, get the apple. Where's the apple? Did you get the apple? Uh, mushrooms. This one is a bit different. Where's the apple? Let me bring it a bit closer. Uh, oh, there we go. There's the apple. Don't eat the mushroom. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this was a... T I remember playing this on the Nokia... Uh, 6300, uh, my mom's Nokia 6300, and it's really fun. The 6300 had uh, a more brighter and slightly better display than this, uh, I think. It looked a bit better as far as I can remember, but I, ha I haven't really used a 6300 in a while. Um, so that is that. Uh, how do I get that? So yeah, this is uh, just a quick demo of Snake 3. But yeah, you get the idea. Make the snake as long as you can. Don't crash into yourself or into the sides of the walls. Uh, so that is a quick demo of Snake 3. There's Soccer and Sudoku as well. Uh, really nice that this memory card had some games because the built-in games, they just it just had Sudoku. So yeah, uh, organizer apps, blah, 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 blah. What else is under apps? You have collection, which is a bunch of stuff. Size conversion for clothes. There's a sensor thing and world clock as well. So you can load a bunch of things onto this thing. Obviously Java apps, media camera, video player, blah, 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 blah. It has a voice recorder, equalizer, and uh, stereo widening as well. We'll play some tones in a bit. We have setting, profile themes, uh, tones, display, time and date, blah, 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 blah. A bunch of things uh, as well. We have configuration here. Um, and since this phone has the swivel mechanism, we can basically uh, um, set, we have some settings for that as well. Uh, where is that? 
There are some settings for the swivel. Not many, it's just uh, whether to make a sound or not. Um, I think that was the theme thing as well, but yeah, I can't really find it now, but nothing major in terms of customization. Basic uh, Nokia OS customization. Like I said, this was called Nokia OS. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is very nostalgic for a lot of people, this OS, because a lot of people uh, couldn't, of course, afford N-series phones with Symbian and all that stuff. So, uh, and this phone as well, this was expensive, but this same OS was on more cheaper phones. And uh, it was uh, a common staple of phones back in the early 2000s. So a real a hit of nostalgia there. So uh, that is basically the OS. Uh, let me show you the themes this thing comes built in with. So uh, we have a few themes over here, graphics, so themes, just three built in. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was more, but the previous owner could have deleted them, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, let's go into tones now and play some music. Let's make sure the volume is max volume. So we have the volume rocker here. We have, so let's go to profiles, general, personalize, Nokia tune, uh, open gallery, tones, ringtones, So the speakers are a bit crackly. It could be because of their age, but if you ignore the crackly part, as you can hear, they're really, really loud and also quite clear. Uh, these are dual stereo speakers hidden under the display, as you can see there. Uh, they're meant to be like that, and I'm pretty sure they've engineered not to interfere with this. Uh, let's go to alert tones. So we have a bunch of other things. So you get the general idea. The speakers are really loud and those are some tones. Uh, those are not very standard Nokia tones. I'm pretty sure they've been deleted or something, but really couldn't find all the other standard tones. Either that or this phone never had standard Nokia tones, uh, but it is what it is. So now let's go on to the camera section. So the camera on this phone, like I said, this is the 7373. So it has a two megapixel camera, but the 7370 had a 1.3 megapixel camera. They are fixed focus cameras and uh, they can record video at uh, QCIF, which is basically 1440p. Uh, despite getting the two megapixel upgrade, that the video wasn't upgraded. So the video was still 1440p between the 7370 and the 7373. So uh, both cameras were fixed focus, uh, 1.3 megapixels on the 7370 and one and uh, two megapixels on the 7373, as you can see here. Fixed focus. Focus, QCIF video recording, obviously no front camera. Let's go into the camera interface here. Uh, why am I going like that? Oh, I can just press the button and we are in. So uh, my finger is covering the camera like that, but like that, but as you can see, you can capture with this button or you can capture uh, like that. The button is a bit stuck cause it's old, but uh, come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, I was pressing it wrong. No, the button's good. I was just pressing it wrong but yeah, as you saw you can take a photo like that or you can uh, take a photo like that this is a bit th this button is a le bit less harder than that so i prefer to take it with this but i guess you can take it like that uh, instead of holding the phone like that because your hand will cover the camera but uh, that was the photo taking we have options video night mode uh, blah 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 self timer image sequence effects white balance settings open gallery image quality image size uh, video clip quality, video resolution, as you can see, 1440p or QCIF, uh, camera sounds off, basic uh, camera interface, uh, you have the zoom with this button like that, as you can see, digital zoom, uh, shows you the number of photos or videos you can take at the time, it's second minutes in videos when you switch to videos, If you let me show you there, so... Uh, one hour 42 minutes with this memory card and it's not it's quite full as well so you can take a lot i mean it's 1440p it's not that big uh so yeah so that was the camera interface on the nokia 7373 um for photo quality uh, they're 
photos are actually quite good if the conditions are right. And today's a really nice bright day outside. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some uh, really nice photos. I took some indoor photos, uh, but the outdoor photos are gonna look really nice. Um, and um, the ones I took indoor are also really nice uh, if they're lit nicely, if they're lit properly. And this, for a fixed focus 2 megapixel camera, it does its job really well. The video quality at 144p, it is what it is. You can't really complain too much. And I'm pretty sure I called the, called the video quality 1440p somewhere around the lines of this video. So I'm sorry if I called it 1440p, it's not 1440p, it's 144p. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So uh, daytime photos, I uh, have a mul bu multiple bunch of photos as usual, shot outdoor and uh, it's snowing outside. So it's just gonna be mostly white, but I'll try and get some colors in there with the indoor photos as well. Uh, so daytime photos and then daytime video in three, two, one, roll it. So as you saw with those camera samples, they're actually quite nice, uh, quite decent um, photos, uh, especially the uh, ones of the buildings and stuff. They're quite actually sharp. And uh, that's only when it's in bright lighting conditions. Obviously uh, at night, it's not great. And as you notice, this thing has no flash as well. So it is what it is. Uh, so for additional features, I mean, there's not much. I mean, the main focus on this phone is the really good stereo speakers uh, and the swivel design. Uh, it's sleek and stylish. It's uh, it's more, more of a fashion accessory actually, uh, like the uh, 7370 and uh, stuff like that. I keep saying I'll bring the 7370 on camera. I will bring it, just give me a bit. Um, so uh, for additional features, it had FM radio as well and a bunch of MP3 formats it could play. Um, predict active text, uh, the pop port expansion. I don't think that's even a feature. Uh, that was quite a uh, annoyance because you, uh, the pop port, uh, because if it broke, uh, if your accessories broke, you have to get the other pop port accessories. So that was quite annoying. Uh, no GPS, no infrared, no no Wi-Fi, obviously. Uh, it had obviously Bluetooth, it should have. Uh, Bluetooth 2.0, uh, no, no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So not a lot in the way of extra features there. Uh, but then again, this thing had the swivel mechanism and the speakers. Uh, that's what it was marketed as. And uh, a lot, it, it's nice to have the power button and the uh, the camera shutter button as well and uh, this thing actually had a really good battery life and we'll talk about the battery life in a bit but firstly let's go get the 7380 all right so we have the uh, 7380 and the uh, 7280 here as well um, 
as you can see here these were also fashion accessories these were more fat more of fashion accessories than that thing so this has the sliding slide out camera i featured this phone on my channel before i couldn't do a full retro style review because the battery for this uh doesn't really work and um the other issue is i think this may have a slightly damaged rotator ribbon this uh, wheel ribbon i do have another 7280 but it's not with me it's back at home and i'm in college so uh until i get that uh, we won't be able to do a full review uh, this thing i already put the video up there at the beginning if you want to go check out the full retro style review of this thing uh, another phone with premium leather part as you can see this is also real leather where's the back cover here we go so a different kind of leather this is probably cow this is probably some sort of lizard i don't know but definitely premium leather because these phones are really expensive so these three uh were well, the 7370 as well were like the nokia fashion accessories this one being the most sleeker one of course uh if you wanted uh, one to look like this this rose color what was it called uh i keep forgetting i have my uh notes here. oh it was called a warm amber or powder pink this one is more like the warm amber but it has its own name i forgot what this color was more like just gold or the standard color this phone came only in one color uh this thing also came in one color so uh, these phones were like the uh, three there was another one uh that was a flip phone i forgot what it was called i'll put it up here i don't have that phone it was also a part of the uh quad uh quad group of phones here the uh the four phones that were marketed as uh, fashion accessories i put it up there there's another one i'll get that eventually uh but yeah it is what it is so 7380 7280 and the uh, 7373 or 7370 uh so now let's go ahead and talk about battery and power so i've turned off the phone and we're here in the battery bay i've covered up the imei number over there uh nokia corporation made in germany as you can see there it says made in germany so this one was uh made in nokia's germany factory on the 7370 this area is blank but as you can see i put a memory card in there so uh that is what it is uh the uh, full size um, sim card is there as well now the original battery on this thing is uh the nokia bl4b so bl4b battery it's quite a small battery uh, the battery i've put here is the bl5ct which is a much bigger battery as you can see it doesn't really fit uh, so i have to tape it down so the bl5ct is a 1050 milliamp hour battery uh, this phone's original battery the bl4b is a 700 milliamp hour battery and with that 700 milliamp hour battery the 7370 and the 7380 got about 250 hours of standby time but most of the comments and reviews said it does way better than that about 320 350 ish and uh on 2G, a talk time of about three and a half hours, but then again, a lot of reviews said this thing can easily do four and a half hours-ish, uh, or maybe five hours if you stretch it, depending on your brightness settings and all that stuff. So really good battery performance there for a phone with such a tiny battery. It's a 700 milliamp hour battery pretty tiny uh so yeah it is what it is but then again you should not be surprised it is nokia um so uh it is what it is uh, let's go ahead and power this thing on again so apart from that there's nothing else i can say uh, about the nokia 7373 it's a really interesting phone with the swivel design uh really premium phone at the time launched alongside the uh 7370 7380 and the uh 7280 and that other phone that i showed you earlier uh premium phones from many many years ago uh released as fa more fashion accessories and stuff this one like i said is a bit scratched and banged up and i may do a different video when i get the other color of this phone the other four colors of the 7370 73 so yeah definitely stay tuned for that but uh, it's quite an interesting phone uh when i was out taking photos for this thing uh people were staring at this what the hell is that thing uh, so a lot of people do give me these strange looks when i take all my weird phones out to do the camera sample i've i've been asked a few questions as well i just tell them i'm doing it for fun and i collect phones and this was the Nokia 7370 or the 7373 from 2005 or 2006. And if you honestly like this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up on the like button down below. And also hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on Instagram, Discord and Twitter and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.